So the America I love still exists, not in the White House or the Supreme Court or the Senate or the House of Representatives. The America I love still exists at the front desks of our public libraries. Kurt Vonnegut wrote that in A Man Without a Country. And I've been thinking about that quote a lot, especially lately. Things are crazy out there. And sometimes the only two things that bring me hope and the only two things that keep me going are young people and the existence of public libraries. My name's Tara and I'm a, I'm a librarian at the Richmond Public Library. And I was honored to be invited here and really excited because y'all are my bosses. <laughs> public libraries belong to and answer to their users above anyone else. We are uh, publicly funded and overseen by a library board that's selected to ensure that we use tax dollars prudently. But really, we answer to you. Without users, we have no purpose. And if we don't if we don't know what you need from us, we can't grow. And that's what I mean when I say that you are my bosses. Public libraries are not dead or even dying. Um, they're living, vibrant spaces within our communities. In fact, on Thursday, while I was desperately trying to memorize this speech, um, which I've had varying success with, um, <laughs> a Wall Street Journal article came across my desktop talking about how public libraries, specifically reference librarians, are busier than they ever have been before. The article mentioned one county in Minnesota that has a population of about 1.2 million people. And last year, their very busy public library system answered 1.3 million reference questions. More questions and answers than people. That's pretty incredible. The Richmond Public Library had over 750,000 visitors last year. Working in an urban public library, or any public library for that matter, is never boring, and there is no typical day. I could help someone scan documents to send to their insurance company. I can help a new reader find a just right book for them. Um, help someone do research about a school they went to growing up. Um, conduct story time for toddlers and their parents. And sometimes we're just a safe place for people and the first place they come to when they need help or information. I'll never forget this young woman I met uh, working in, in Churchill, Northern Churchill at the East End Branch in Richmond. Um, she was one of our new regulars, meaning she appeared out of nowhere and was suddenly at the library all day, every day, for several weeks in a row. And on one Saturday afternoon in August, it was sweltering hot outside. She comes inside and says that she had a question to ask me, but that she was a little embarrassed about it. And I said, well, that's silly. There's no, I mean, we get at, asked all kinds of questions, and there's no, there are no bad questions, and there's nothing you should be ashamed to ask me. And she still was hesitant, so we stepped to the side, away from the circulation desk, so she could have some privacy. And she said, well, I have a job interview on Monday. And I said, oh, a job interview, that's fantastic. She had been applying to jobs for weeks and working on her resume for hours at a time at the library. Um, and I said, that's great, congratulations. And I said, so what's your question? She said, my question is, I'm not really staying anywhere stable right now, and I don't have access to running water, and I want to know if there was somewhere I could go to take a shower today to get ready for my interview. We just never know who's going to come through our door and what they're going to need from us. That Wall Street Journal article that I mentioned before spoke of librarians who specialize in pop music, historic properties, and symbolism. I'd really like to see Google replace any of those things I just mentioned, by the way. If you've been in the library lately, you know that all of that's true. We're not just buildings full of books and staff to guard them. Um, we are gateways to anything that anyone could ever want to access. We want to help you be a better student, employee, partner, and friend, a more informed voter, please, consumer, and advocate for your community. Without, um, without your input, we can't grow, and that's why it's so important. And even though we might seem like outdated institutions to some, you all know better, uh, a, a recent study by the Pew Research Center that came out in June of 2017 showed that young people are the biggest users of public libraries more than ever before and more than any other age group. Um, over 50% of what some of us call millennials visited a public library in the last year, and 87% of that same group said that they rely on the library for trustworthy information. And in a land of fake news and click holes, trustworthy information is very, very important. That also makes young people a really important group. You get to decide what libraries of the future are going to look like and how we will serve our communities. Usage determines how libraries decide to spend their ever-shrinking budgets. So the question then is, what do you want us to be? What can we do to make your lives easier, more fun, better, more productive? 
I could go on and on about public libraries and how important they are, how we are anti-censorship and pro-information, how we treat everyone who walks through our doors equally with dignity and respect, how we create access and opportunity. I could also talk about how important young people are, but y'all know that already. Um, instead, what I'd like to do is ask you to think about what potential impact you could have on this world. And I say potential because it's only true if you do something about it, if you make your actions and intentions known to others. One small example of that would be to get a library card and use it and help determine what we become in the future. So I'm gonna challenge all of you to do just that whenever you have a chance, to go to your public library, talk to the staff, use it, help tell us what we can do to make your community better and empower yourselves to do the most, <clears throat> the next important, monumental, wonderful thing. Thank you for listening.